Hey guys, it's Power Johnny Tech Review and I hope you guys are all doing well. I am completely new when it comes to a 3D printer and recently most fun, a successful Kickstarter project reached out to me to try the Cell 2 model. It has features such as full metal body, automatic leveling, resuming functionality and low printing noise. It is compatible with various filaments such as PLA, ABS and wax. This is touted as a plug and play 3D printer with minimal setup, so as someone who is new to the 3D printing world, I would like to put you through the task. So inside the box, you get the printed cell, a rope POA filament, about a kilogram of it, a filament holder, glue stick, SD card, cables, and other small accessories that help you to put the unit together. The unit was shipped to me in its own retail box, which has good padding, but it seemed like UPS put a small hole in it and the metal backplate is a little bit bent. I was able to strain it out and it didn't really affect the unit. To set up, this 3D printer was actually pretty simple and took about 15 minutes. The included instruction menu make it really easy to do so. I put together the filament holder, installed the filament guided, which is a 3D printed part, feed in the filament and that's basically about it. Next step is to power up the machine, heat up and test the filament and do the automatic leveling. This process took about 3-5 to five minutes and after that you're ready to start printing. Navigation is done via a little knob on top and you can rotate left and right to go up and down and you can press down it to select. It is accurate, not as easy as the touchscreen but works pretty well when I find myself flying through the menu. To use it, all you have to do is when you turn it on, it will come to this menu here, just press the button here. It will give you your menu option and here you can see uh, you have four different options. You have the SD card printing, heat and refill, auto leveling and information. So if we go to the SD card printing, so just rotate that knob to the right, it will go down. And then uh, to the left, it go up and you can click on it to go in. So you can pick one of these G-code here and then uh, print it if you want. You can uh, go all the way up to the top here to escape, to go back. There's heat and refill, of course, if you need to change the uh, filament, you need to turn it on to heat and then you can uh, change it out. So that is an option there. Uh, let's go back. Uh, you also have automatic leveling. Uh, do yes once in a while if you feel like uh, the bed is not even or you keep having misprint. Uh, also here you have information which let you change the a language from English to Chinese and that's basically about it. There is no software included but the SD card has linked to the custom C4M software which is what I use mainly to get started with downloading the STL model from various different sites and slicing them into G-code file to print. Of course other software like Cura is also supported but you have to find the correct setting via the internet for the printers. SD card printing is a most convenient option, I pretty much do that all the time. You can also use USB printing from the computer if you want to do that. The maximum print size is about 190mm by 140 by 130mm, which is pretty good size for various different things that I want to try. So now as far as the printing quality, here are some samples I can show you uh, from playing with it. So you can see for the most part it produced some nice print but sometimes there are rough edges uh, which you have to clean. On a few occasions I saw some missed uh, print line. This is uh, using the standard filament which is based on my research and my friends telling me buying a better quality filament make a huge difference. They included a glue stick which you can apply at the bottom of the bed which I found it worked extremely well and I never had any issues with the modeling fallout blades during printing. I found the printer is not too loud. In the same room you can definitely hear it running but leaving the room I can barely hear it running. Another feature I really like is the status light. There's an LED light bar up top that turns the whole unit blue when it's printing and back to red when it's finished printing. Another thing I found out was that putting it on a flimsy IKEA table on carpet, the printer does shake the table around a little bit, uh, which could result in bad prints. I suggest placing this on a solid table as the feet and the weight of this printer hold together pretty well. Overall, the Cell 2 is a compelling option as it is pretty easy to get started and the print is consistent and the auto level features works pretty well. However, at $600 price range, I do wish some other features such as viewing camera for viewing, touchscreen, mobile app, and heated beds are included. Uh, they do have all of those features but it's in the pro model which costs almost twice as much. And to me, that doesn't seem to worth it for a consumer like me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review and found it helpful. Thank you for most fun for sending this unit to me for review. Thumb up if you like it and consider subscribing if you haven't done so for more awesome future videos. Thank you.